welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine, aka Creatively Jazz, and today I'll be showing you how to achieve this look, um, also with a wash routine. So pretty much the routine that I go through every week when I wash my hair, unless I co-wash it. But in this case, I'm just washing it and not washing it, washing it and deep conditioning it. And so yeah, just stay tuned if you want to check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye. So unfortunately, since I live in a dorm, I can't like bring my filming stuff in the bathroom because it's, you know, it's supposed to be private. So I'm just going to like show you how I detangle and the products that I'm going to use. So yeah. All right, I'm back. So the products that I'm going to use my hair on my hair for wash day are this Head & Shoulders Itchy Scalp Care um, Shampoo. And I'm using this because my scalp has been really itchy and I haven't been like really taking care of it. And the conditioner that I'm going to use is the Aveeno Active Naturals Pure Renewal Conditioner. It's sulfate free and it's for all hair types. And, so and today I'm also going to deep condition my hair for 30 minutes using the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep treatment mask and this is what it looks like so yeah i'll be right back as soon as i'm done washing my hair see ya hey so this is pretty much what my hair looks like washed and conditioned i think it's pretty detangled right now so what i'm gonna do is um start detangling it a little bit more and then apply the uh not leaving conditioner <laughs> the deep conditioning mask and yeah, I'm going to leave that on my hair for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then after that, you know, after I like section and clip it, I'm going to put on this waterproof shower cap that I got from the beauty supply store. I'm pretty sure it was like $1.50 or something. But yeah. Hey again. So right now I'm just going to be putting the deep conditioner on my hair and detangling as I go. So I'm not putting a lot on my hair, just enough to um for the sections that I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to do about six sec six sections probably. So I'm just applying it especially to the ends because I feel that's the part of my hair that needs the most moisture. And I always start at the bottom of my hair at the ends um, just so that the comb can go through easier and so that I don't pull my hair out or anything dramatic like that. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then after I finish that, I just twist it and then clip it up. And so I'll just fast forward and show you the rest of that. And now I'm just putting on my shower cap to let the deep conditioner sink into my hair. Okay, so now that I've pretty much deep conditioned my hair, I'm about to take off my shower cap and rinse out the deep conditioner and then come back and actually style my hair. Don't know what style I'm going to choose, so I'm probably going to spend like 20 minutes on Pinterest looking at my board to figure out what style to choose. And yeah, so I'm just going to take off this. Holy. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like deep conditioned. I hope you can see the texture and stuff, but... Yeah, that's what it looks like. My hair is actually pretty warm. So I think that that shower cap did a really good job at um, deep conditioning my hair. But yeah, I'm going to go wash this out and I'll be right back. And it feels like I just keep leaving and then coming back. But um, that's pretty much how my wash day goes. I just rinse out the deep conditioner and now I'm um, waiting for it to dry. I don't use any heat on my hair when I'm drying it. I just put a towel on it and let it air dry pretty much. So that usually takes a while, but I don't wait for it to um, completely dry because I do want to put products in it and um, pre-style it before, you know, it gets Hi again for the second to last time because the last time that I um, film again on this, you know, routine process it'll be the next day the next morning actually when I'm about to go to class so let's just get started pretty much what I did was I just separated my hair in two halves sorry not two halves a half okay yeah and so this is what the first half looks like I'm gonna do a half up half down style and I'm gonna put this up in like a I feel like a bun, a top bun. And then the next one I'm going to do, not the next one, the um, last bottom half I'm going to do um, 
that's what's out excuse me I'm still getting over my cold it's weird but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do right now and so I'm gonna use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning leave-in conditioning repair cream and I'm gonna uh, pair that with the same product but it's gonna be the moisturizing curl activator cream and I was gonna use the what is it the cream of nature argan oil um, twisting custard but I think I'm gonna put that on tomorrow when I take out these twists so that they can just be you know bouncy and stuff yeah, so pretty much what I'm going to do right now is just finger detangle with the leave-in conditioning cream. Oop. I think it's supposed to go up here. <clears throat> detangle with that. And then pair it with this. Do the prayer hands, make sure that the ends are really moisturized. And then I'm gonna grab this comb. Can't tell you where I got it because I got it for Christmas as a Christmas gift. But I'm pretty sure you can find it on Amazon or like in your local beauty supply. <clears throat> All right, now that that's detangled, I think. I'm trying to decide if I want to do flat twists or just like regular twists. I feel like flat twists. So I'm just going to do this in half. I'm just going to clip this section up and then flat twist it. If you don't. <clears throat> I'm just going to twist this all the way down and then get a little bit more leave-in conditioning cream so I can seal the end. And then I'm going to do the same with this part. And that's what that looks like so far. Yep. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of the um, sections. <laughs> damp so I can just put the product on detangle it and then do the little fun thing that I plan on doing the sour gel I'm not gonna put a lot on just this much and I'm just gonna apply it like that and kind of start molding my hair I grab this brush don't know where it came from this is actually my grandma's brush but she doesn't use it anymore so I kind of took it off of her so basically how I do my bun is I just take a section of my hair, twist it as you could tell, and then I just bobby pin it under. And then I just repeat that process the entire way around. I just take another section, twist it, and then tuck it under the next twisted section. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the morning when I'm about to finish this look currently watching Dave Chappelle with the Bay. So I'm gonna get on that. See ya. Good morning everyone. It's about 844 so I have about 31 minutes. No it's 845. So I have about 30 minutes to get myself prepared and go to class. I've done everything else like my makeup and what I'm gonna wear but I just need to do my hair now. So I'm gonna take off the scarf that I put on last night. And the pro oh that came out nice. And the product that I'm gonna be using to um, take out my twists is this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Twirling Custard, and I got it from Walgreens. So let's just get into it. Now I'm getting an Afro pick to pick out my roots. my 
video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, or if you want to see more videos like this in the future, but with different hairstyles, please let me know down below or just follow me on Twitter and let me know on there. So see you next time. Bye. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh.